Oh, here's something. Tora's Diary. I grew frustrated with being treated like a child, so I resumed my age booster experimentation in earnest. The anti-aging device reversed more than a hundred years in an instant, so I reflected upon that result and moderated the output. When I cautiously exposed myself to its rays, I returned to my 20-year-old form, just as I had hoped. Success! I'm so happy that I can once again reach high places without using a jetpack. You had a jetpack and you didn't tell me? My 20-year-old body doesn't suffer from sleepless nights searching, uh, researching. And what's more, my skin is perfect. No complaints. Three volumes of my diary are hidden away now. I'll place the last one at the northeastern edge of Akala. The lab here, or the lab there is perfect for hiding things. It's such a remote location. I'm sure no one will ever come across it. Hmm. So she actually changed that anti-aging to revert back to her normal self. And I gotta say, actually, that she looks a little bit more better than she looks in uh, Age of Calamity. Here's a picture of the... Uh, the ancient towers in Breath of the Wild. Damn, yeah. So pretty much she got tired of people treating her like a child. That she wanted to change back to normal. I mean, that's true. Once you're a child, you don't want to go back there again. Alright, what else you got? Those include the most essential one, the travel medallion feature that lets you set up gates for instant travel anywhere. Ooh. There's also Hero's Path mode, it shows where you've traveled, and finally Sensor Plus, which helps you find more than shrines. Isn't this all the DLC stuff that added in Breath of the Wild? Isn't that what this was? Because I remember the Hero Path mode. But first, I'll need you to gather some test data so I can fine-tune my prototypes. I do have the travel thing, though. I do have a prototype. It lets you travel instantly to a gate you have established elsewhere. But we're going to have a little bit of an extra challenge with all this. Look here, in distant Akala, up in its northeastern corner, is the Akala Ancient Tech Lab, which is also my home. That's where my prototype of the travel medallion feature is. I started to work on it back there. I think, yeah, I have already went there. I'd go get it myself, but word is that some dangerous trespassers have made themselves at home there. Ah, so he's going to make a warp pad so that I can travel back here if I ever wanted to talk to him. Now you can get here instantly. You'll need to make your own way to the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. See, here's the thing. I actually have that prototype. What? Then you already have it? Good job. That will do the trick. Come on, hurry up! Let's see your poor pad! Yeah, let's go! Mysterious tool was built by Robbie. Place it by opening your inventory and registering at your current location as a travel gate. I added that to your key items so you'll never lose the ability to use it. If you want to be able to travel instantly to your favorite spot, just stand there and set up a travel gate by using that. Then at any time, you can just zip right there by selecting that very spot on your map. I wonder what I could do if I had even more data. I suspect I could add two more gates. Yes, yeah, then it hit maximum capacity. 
so I can create a link between the pad and the second location, but for that, I need about 10 map data locations. Ooh, okay. That is a walk in the park for me. Looks like I'm probably gonna have to use that 10 times. Okay. Well, I might as well just talk about the other ones too. Hero's Path Mode. Uh, I'll need to get data from 15 shrine locations. Oh, buddy, you have no idea. I've gone through 92. <laughs> Ooh. Yep, I've gone through that many. You can now use the map to see the path you've taken on your journey footstep by footstep. You can save around 256 hours of gameplay. If you exceed this amount of any play data, the oldest footsteps will be erased. Huh. That's gonna be a doozy, because what kind of line is that gonna be? Because I don't think I've ever played more than 256 hours yet. Oh. Alright, so uh, what about the Sensor Plus? Uh, you select it, you, but I can't any prototype without some extra data. So you need to fill out your compendium with at least five types of monsters. Don't I have more than five? I think so. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> he almost has that gnome sound effect. Alright, uh... I got Sensor Plus. You can select something other than Shrines of Light as a sensor target. The sensor has a stronger reaction as you get closer to the target. Oh, so I can sense. Oh, damn. I can sensor monsters as well? Oh, that's sick. That is exactly what I needed. I So, I will need to take pictures of, like, Hinoxes and Lizalfos so that I can get their tails and guts. And this looks like the contraption that can tell you about the compendium. Okay. Alright, I guess that's all I need to figure out about the Pura Pad. Though you can use the Sensor Plus's feature now. It is not yet perfect. It still doesn't have all the features. Oh. The Compendium Database. It has every creature, monster, material, treasure, and piece of equipment. It's basically the same thing as the Hyrule Compendium you've got on your poor pad, except mine's finished. When you take a picture of these kinds of objects, they'll be registered. I've got some mighty elusive entries in my collection. You might find it a real challenge to get them on your own. Okay, so he can sell me that stuff. But if you want some pictures from my compendium, just let me know. Oh, buddy, do I ever. Uh, yeah, can I buy a picture? Let's see what you got. Ooh. So, I can literally just buy all of this. That's literally no way. Holy shit. I literally just bought every single picture of animal. Including the sand seals I never saw. The golden horse. The skeleton horse. Actually, yeah. Let's check them out. Let's show a little bit of... Uh, wait. Wouldn't this give us spoilers for something? I'm actually uh, a little curious. Okay. So we already got horse, Hans, the giant horse. We st we still need to recover our demon king. White horse. Wasn't this uh, Zelda's original horse? But it's uh, a Hyrulean royal family that perished. Oh, wait. No, the it perished over 100 years ago was sometimes right atop of white horses as a display of their divine rights. Okay. 
giant white stallion. What? There's a white giant horse? Oh, that's impressive. We know about the golden horse. A stall horse. Donkey. Sand seal. Patricia. This is Riju's own sand seal. Squirrel, boar, boar, goat, goat, buck, doe, buffalo, cow, sheep, fox, snow fox, wolf, coyote, wolf, moose, a don don. The hell? Are these in the depths? It looks like they're in the jungle. These are animals? A new species of four-legged beast found in southern regions. So far, only five of these creatures have ever, have ever been spotted in Hyrule. Their diet is a mystery, but what is known is that they are easily scared, and their giant horns can be very dangerous. Okay, so this is a rare species. I'm wondering if there's a side quest to this. We got bears... Grizzlemaw Bears, Hylian Retriever, Bloopy, Bubble Frog. I'm just curious. Burb. 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 Bird. 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 Bigger bird. Ooh, Rainbow Bird. Hot Feather, White, Ascented. Crow, duck, heron, heron, hawk, seagull, cloud seagull, ostrich, forest ostrich, that's what they're called, cuckoo, bass, bass, salmon, trout, trout, carp, 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 cavefish, porgy, River snail, crab, fairy, butterflies, darners, crickets, rhino beetle. Oh yeah, the beetles. Don't you have to give those to beetle for high prices? There's rugged rhino beetles, energetic rhino beetles, uh, fireflies, deep firefly. Frogs, tireless frogs, lizards. They actually look so cute close up, actually. Look at their eyes. That's so adorable. Lizards, choo-choos, like-likes. Oh, right, yeah. Right, so now these are all the enemies that I have to take a picture of. Although, do I even need to spoil myself for this? I'm still gonna like buy them, but I don't want to spoil myself for any enemies that I have not yet seen. Oh, the crystal, the, the stuff that you need to smash, okay. Like the luminous uh, stones, the gold stones, the regular stones, and the zonite stones, and even the wells. What? Why is that a thing? So I've pretty much uh, filled out the compendium. So wait, did I? Yeah, I pretty much did it already, didn't I? Um. Yeah, let's look at the compendium. Yeah, treasure chests, ore deposits, rare, luminous, and zonite. Uh, shields. Uh, ooh. Oh, okay. So I already, I guess, I already did the work. I guess 15, oh, the, the 15 areas. That must mean the towers. That's right. This mysterious tool was built by Robbie, yep. Okay, so I have to figure out about this travel medallion. I can put up to three travel gates at once. Consider it a great honor awarded to you for your ex extensive travels. All right, cool. Yes, I don't need to do the upgrades anymore. I've done every single one of them. 
That is the objective truth, I'm very pleased to say. Because with all that, you'll make infinitely better progress in your search for Zelda. Now, when you find Zelda, be sure to tell her you couldn't have done it without my poor pad improvements. Alright, cool. We've bought every single picture from him, we've upgraded the pad entirely. And that's all there is to it. So... Oh! Oh, I see, okay. That's how that works, okay. Uh, collect. Yes, okay. Okay, so... I just need to figure out which spots I'd like to put for this stuff. Since there's already, like, so many places for me to travel. Oh, maybe I can put one in the fo- Oh, wait, no, I can't. There are four shrines in there. Right, okay. Um. Yeah, because there's, like, so many spots you can go to. <clears throat> you can- There's so many spots that you can go to. Without needing to use the pad. Oh, you're the traveler I saw at Ventus Clothing, right? Did you come to check up on me because you were worried? Yeah, I lost my head a little there. I'm not too proud of the way I behaved. But don't worry about me. I have a couple tricks up my sleeve against Cece. I might not be able to pull one of them off in time for the mayoral election. So I'm focusing on a second plan to bring back a taste no one's tried here in years. Way back when, my grandfather worked with someone from the village to create a special kind of food. It was too ahead of its time to catch on, so it never went further than the first trial run. But I never got it, or I never forgot it. Even today, I can still recall a, the gooey mouthfeel of the one bite my grandfather shared with me. In the back of my mind, I've always wanted to make it a signature staple of this village. If I could accomplish that, then I have something that could stand up to Cece. Except, I can't remember who in the village my grandfather worked with or what they created. I think it has to do with the cheese. Yeah. Hateno cheese, of course. It makes sense that my grandfather would have been working with someone from the farm up there. It's a miracle that Koyan not only found the recipe, but managed to reproduce it. Well, thank you. I'll pay you a bit of it for that cheese. Alright, cool. I should get in touch with Koyan so we can start preparing for mass production. I'll ask the general store and some traveling merchants to add it to their wares. Shouldn't make... Or it shouldn't take much more than that to tip the election my way. You should come out and watch it happen. Yep, that's already done then. Um... Do you need a mushroom? No, you don't. Okay. Wait, did I give you one? Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Uma. Yeah, I never gave you one. Okay, I never actually seen you before. Oh, good. Oh, you're an old folk. That's right. All right, so I gave her a mushroom. Now I just need one left. Uh. Now, now the problem is, is where? I've gone through every single house and back. Oh, is it you? Oh, I've never actually seen you before. That's right, I accidentally clicked on your tomatoes and you were like, back off. Okay. Yeah, I accidentally run past here and accidentally clicked on his tomatoes and he was like, Shoo! Don't pick up my potatoes. Or, uh, tomatoes. Okay. So, that's all the... That's actually all the normal people 
to give mushrooms to. We can actually go back and talk to Cece about it. Ah, there we go. Oh, you've handed them out already. Yeah, it was quite a quarrel. It actually helped me got to know the village more. That ought to help a few of those Reed voters see the light. Here you are, a sign of my gratitude. A big hearty truffle. It's a rare mushroom worth more than most can afford. As you're on Team CC, I expect you to eat it and fire yourself up for the mayoral election coming up. Wait, so... I believe I remember Sophie saying not long ago that the preparations for the mayoral election were complete. So your timing is excellent. Speak to Sophie about the next steps. Oh, we have to actually vote. Oh boy. Nice day for an election. Everyone's gathering in the plaza. Oh god. We have to actually vote here. Oh no. Oh no. And now, without further ado, let's have each of our candidates for mayor say a few words. Uh, uh, hi. I'm Reed. I believe that the heart of our village is its pastoral culture. We've built a close-knit, self-sufficient lifestyle here in Hetano, and I don't want to see us lose that. My plan is to strengthen our community with new local specialties, starting with our brand new Hateno cheese. Ooh. Oh. I am the world renowned CC, Hyrule's premier fashion designer, but you knew that, of course. Together, we can turn this backwater village into Hyrule's go to destination for all things stylish. Vegetables don't make the world go round. It's glamour that rakes in the cash. And nobody knows glamour like me, darlings. Fashion comes and goes. Your style is trendy now, but it'll be over soon, and then where will we be? Nonsense! It trends that shape of uh, shape the world, not the other way around. That's enough. <laughs> Sophie, uh -huh. both of you are just arguing for more of what you like, not what's best for Hateno. You can't fool me, Cece. You've loved simple, plain things forever including the vegetables of Hateno Village. I know for a fact that you hide in the silo at night to snack on vegetables. Moi? Wherever did you get such a curious notion? Ah. And you, Reed. Your secret's out too. I know why you've been secretly studying Cece's design in the shed. You think there's something there you can use to get the youth to care about vegetable farming. Now who went and told you that? Cece, I can't deny any of it. It should have made me happy that you came in and livened up the village. No, Reed. It is I who should be ashamed. My childish pride would not allow me to admit the truth. The trends in style I made my name on are built on the foundation of traditional culture that our forebears worked for. Please, forgive me everyone. I'm sorry too. Sophie, I hereby withdraw my candidacy. <gasps> Cece, wait. I'd be a fool to pretend you're not the reason our village is flourishing. I don't want to deny you your due. Did I hear you say you're working on a new vegetables to attract the youth of today? That sounds like a Cece-worthy endeavor. 
There's nothing wrong with asking if you can help, you know. People of Hateno, we've come to a decision. The best way to keep Hateno Village vibrant is to work together to combine traditional culture with new ideas. So there was no means to vote for anyone. Sophie and Clavia told me what you did on our behalf. Thanks to you, Hateno Village is thriving once more. We ought to reward such fine work, hmm? Come to vent his clothing when you have a moment. Oh, I think I shall. She's so flourish and... And, uh... Extravagant. I knew, of course, that you'd been in cahoots with Sophie. Uh, but I've never dreamed you'd also been conspiring with Clavia. Still and all, we can call that election a success. Do you remember what we discussed when you first came here? This CC hat is the latest masterpiece from the CC collection. See those luxurious curves. The avant-garde colorway. Everything about that hat is perfect. And so I've been saving it to bequeath to the perfect model. Do you grasp yet what I'm getting at? It's you that I want to model my CC hat. You, who saved not just Hateno Village, but also me and Reed. My perfect hat is unsuitable for anyone else to wear. And besides, let's not pretend it won't look absolutely dashing on you. Here we are! <laughs> I can actually wear this. Oh my god, I can't wait to wear this in battle. Aww. Now put on that CC hat and lord it over the whole world. Ooh. Tidy, hmm? I shall reinvent myself and open Ventus clothing anew. There's work to be done, sister. Oh my god, I can't wait to face Ganon with this flashing hat. Ooh, look at that one. I'll study my collection of unique goods designed by our forebears. See me if see me if you happen to part ways with precious apparel that's too rare to be purchased. I might have something in my collection that can serve as a guide. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It's perfect. It is. Oh my god, it jiggles. It jiggles. Oh my god, that's perfect. Oh my god, I can't wait to wear this against Ganondorf. I recognize that apparel. It's from the evil spirit line. And you put together a complete set. That ensemble is so vibrant that it's like it let out of a painting. Ah, see? And part of me wishes it would leap back in. A hundred points. Alright, cool. So that literally is Phantom Ganon's outfit. Well, what about, what about this one? It's from the Twilight line. And you put together a complete set. What's that smell? I detect a bit of a bestial musk. And is that an ambiguously sinister aroma from the outfit's back? A hundred points. Alright, cool. Let me uh, get back to my outfits and I can wear my flamboyant hat. Alright, cool. I'm ready for adventure. <laughs> I am so ready for adventure now. Although I would probably want to stop here if I want to. Yeah, I feel like I want to stop here. Unless uh, I want to do, what is it, two more shrines? I think I have two. Yeah. Um, but I also did want to do some more side quests. That, that's the problem. <laughs> There's like still so much to do.
Well, since I did all, or I guess I did most of the quests here in Hateno Village, 